Merry Christmas, Wesley. I know that this is not the Christmas that we hoped for or that we expected when this year began. Because of the pandemic, there are many of us that will not have the opportunity to be with the people who we love most in this world today. In light of this, I remind you that Mary and Joseph did not have the Christmas that they hoped for all those many years ago. They didn't expect that there would be no room in the inn. They didn't expect that they would have to birth their baby outside in a barn with all of the animals. They never expected that they would have to lay their baby in a manger. And yet, Christ came. God, Emmanuel, was with them and God is with us. Despite our fears, our worries, our anxieties, all of the challenges and the difficulties of 2020, our God is with us and our God promises to never leave us or forsake us. And so know that God is going to see us through this Christmas and he's also going to be with us for many, many more Christmases to come. I pray that both the hope and the love of Jesus Christ will sustain you today and always and that you will have a Merry Christmas. Please join me now for a word of prayer. Oh God, we love you with all that we are and all that we ever hope to be. We thank you so much for your son, Jesus, and for our Lord and Savior, who was born into this world in order that we all might have life and have it more abundantly. We pray, oh God, thanking you that even though our hopes and our expectations may not come into fruition the way that we think that they ought to, that you are the God that you come, that you promise to be with us and to never leave us or forsake us. We pray special prayers this day for all of those who are on the front lines of the pandemic, oh God. We pray for those who are suffering and who are sick in their bodies. We pray, oh God, for those who are dealing with mental illness, Lord Jesus. We pray for those, oh God, who deal with chronic pain. We pray, God, for those who grieve this day, asking, oh God, that your peace, your perfect peace would rest upon your people and that we would be reminded and we would be assured that you are God, you are Emmanuel, God with us, and that you will see us through 2020 and you're gonna take us into 2021 with the hope that this pandemic will end and that you will continue being God just as you always have been. God, we love you. We praise you. We honor you. We give you all of the glory. We pray this prayer and all of our prayers in the strong, strong name of Jesus. And Lord, we as your sons and your daughters, we say amen, amen, and amen.